Welcome to the Nerd Nostalgia Podcast. Joining me is Trey, Irvin, and I will be your host tonight, Brian. We have a wonderful episode for you tonight. We're going to be talking about the toys that Dicks. we got to carry with. Oh, no. Different podcast. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's the Dong Nostalgia Podcast. Ah, I always get those confused. You missed the Dong. Yeah. Ir- Irvin, Irvin, despite being in charge of branding, decided to start two podcasts simultaneously. One is about nerd nostalgia. The other is about dicks that he's <laughs> enjoyed from his past. And he both he named them both Blank Nostalgia. Really bad. <laughs> <laughs> really gets confused with them all the time. I do. Apologies, y'all. <laughs> Welcome to the Nerd Nostalgia Podcast. My... <laughs> I'll be your host, Brian, tonight. <laughs> That's well, definitely saying. I'm, I'm going to do the stuff and host and... What's the what's the fucking point of you being a producer or Lando all this shit in? Lando Bob Blizzian. Because I can host. edit myself to sound better than, than, than Podcast. you. Podcast. Obviously. So the whole point of you being producer is that way you can sound moderately better than us by changing everything. Is that why Beyonce was the only one that survived Destiny's Child? I believe she had the most talent, and that's why she survived. Also, was the prettiest, um, and from Houston. I thought, gang, but gang. I thought that her dad—I thought that her dad was either the producer or he was somehow involved in the trio. Yeah, from what I remember, I don't think he was a good dude. But yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know if. That was the case because I don't care about celebrities and stuff. So okay. I think that you're trying to not only Beyonce us, but also Beyonce's dad us, where you like <laughs> auto tune yourself to sound better. <laughs> and you're just mad you have a shitty voice, is all. I that's fine. <laughs> I think you're you're probably going in and you're elongating the pauses between Trey's ideas. That is literally just... nope, nope. That's not true. Okay, this will be my third attempt at the intro. Welcome to the Nerd Nostalgia Podcast. It is now month 7-3 under the dome of the COVID pandemic. Uh, president Trump is uh, continuing his 70-year reign as our president. And we are here to talk about the toys that we were able to bring from our childhood into this hellish nightmare futurescape that we are in right now. I am your host, Brian. Joining me is Trey. Say hi, Trey. Hi. And Irvin. Irvin, say hello in whatever language you prefer. Konnichiwa. Beautiful. All right, guys. We're starting with the toys that we brought with us from our childhood. Trey, what's a toy that you had growing up that you somehow still have with you? And you can use the to- the word toy loosely. It's actually... It's... Not sex toy. Okay. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Uh, hang change, on. I change gotta re- it real quick. I gotta, I gotta rethink. <laughs> well, actually, it probably could be used as a sex toy. Um, uh, it, now, color, color me intrigued. It Sorry, is with, a, any, with enough imagination, anything could be a sex toy. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Everybody's seen Grandma's Boy. Yeah. <laughs> I still have a Darth Vader lightsaber. One of the extendable ones. So, like, the mm-hmm. cheap ones that you got, like, at Walmart or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you know, you press the button and then it's you know telescopes, telescoping, telescoping. Uh, if I can pulls out, <laughs> if I can, if I can pulls out, it gets longer. Um, <laughs> oh, it could be a sex. That's toy. what. That's what. That's what yeah. I said. Yeah. That's what I said. Yeah, I mean, I've had that thing for forever, and and so it's it's the Vader one, so it's red, mm-hmm. and I got that because we went through this phase as kids where everybody got one, right? Like, and so everybody just kind of picked their favorite you know, blue or green or whatever, but like everybody had blue or green and to ensure that I was able to always fight. Cause I liked the act of like actually doing the fights and stuff to ensure that I always got a chance to fight. I was, I chose a red one because everyone was always going to want to go after the Sith and fight. It's like, Oh, okay. There's blue against red or green against red. Yeah. It makes sense. Cause that's from the movies. And so I got the most action because I chose a red one and I still have it. And now my son plays with it and thinks it's the most hilarious thing. You know, you just push the button and flick it out. And he's like, ah, that's awesome. But it's, it's been used so much. Like I still have, I have no idea how it's stuck around this long. Like it is so, it has been beat so many times. Like, I mean, we you know we didn't, we didn't like try and break them. But we didn't not try and break them. Does it have those 
those white marks from the stress of being hit by other oh yeah cheap shit because this was the nine dollar lightsaber mm-hmm. that despite being the cheapest it was almost indestructible mm-hmm. for childhood light or adulthood lightsaber battles right 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 in fact i think we probably fought each other with that same lightsaber i i'm sure we have i'm sure we have y'all use that uh that toy on each other mm-hmm. that's cool mm-hmm the left yeah. white marks mm-hmm. on the tip well, he, there. He, well, Trey used it on me. Interesting. I <laughs> probably used a different toy on him. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> I don't understand your tone of voice. <laughs> <laughs> Ask the episode with Luke Skywalker and uh, his nephew. Uh, what, what was his name in the movies? Ben, Kylo Ren? Ben Solo? Right? Yeah. Anyways. Um Trey, uh, oh, so I get, I get, uh, I get. That's an inside joke <laughs> <laughs> that you don't remember. Well, Trey, it's what I think is edited out every time? Yeah, because it's usually inappropriate. Now I'm just well, like, it's not an inside joke for the podcast. Why? Why would you include that thing that no one has a reference point for? Because you keep editing out <laughs> my conspiracy theory that Luke Skywalker. I don't edit it out. Kylo I don't Ryan. edit it out anymore. So yeah, is it really? Say, is it really in there? Yeah, it's in there somewhere. Wow. Yeah, that's what you get. I told you, I was like, I'm not editing this out anymore. Back to what I was going to ask. Trey, lightsaber, Star Wars, dope as fuck. What is, besides putting it around Brian's mouth, what is one of your fondest memories <laughs> hey, hold on. of you're, that you're, toy? He's putting the lightsaber around my mouth? Trey, or Irvin, do you know how a sex toy works? What do you think this is? We invest in lube, so he doesn't need to lick it first. Ah, see? Okay. That's that's what this, Urban this was missing. This episode needs to be rated R. <laughs> God damn it. It is. It always is. I apologize to everybody. I don't know how is we there, took this turn, but, you know. Is there a, is there a uh, trigger warning for this podcast may contain explicit sexual material? Like every other episode we've ever done. No, but I'm going to use that clip at the beginning, though. Trey's, o- Trey's always talking about the miracle of birth and, and how it happened and how it is that he's not a virgin anymore and it's <laughs> bullshit. I have a son, guys, because I've had intercourse. That's usually how they come about, dude. Usually. I don't know. Adoption's a wonderful thing, and I think That's we true. should promote that more. That's true. Anyway, so what, besi- besides whatever bullshit Irvin was saying, what, what did you do with your lightsaber? <laughs> what, 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 what kind of question is that? What are you, what are you, what are you trying to get? No, he, was, he was going for what is the, f- I guess, what is the standout fondest memory? Yeah. And it was probably in our neighborhood, Brian, like with everybody that had one, or even like after school, like everybody would carry them to school and we would have a battle, like epic battles. You may have graduated by that point. Did we bring them to school? I, I did. I don't remember. We, I, well, we had we had a what one of my history classes. The teacher was pretty dope, and so like we just for whatever reason it came up, and they were like, "Okay, you can bring them one day if you have one, if you still have one or whatever." And like I still had my red one from childhood, and I think. I don't know if we broke any like like i think you're right i don't think you can break them i you know it's i've had that thing for over 20 years and yeah it's banged up but it still works and it's like it even still closes and everything like closes and holds closed and which is crazy it's essentially like the old phones right you could not break those old nokias because you could throw it against a wall you could drop it out of your car driving 60 miles an hour that shit survived yeah you just put the battery back in and the back cover on and you're good to go yeah but yeah, it was a it was a history class, and we had a battle, and that was pretty cool. Do you one day imagine? Obviously, your son's playing with it, but it's still very much your lightsaber. Do you imagine that you will one day call him into your office and say, "Son, <laughs> it's time. It's time that I pass the torch to you." I'll probably just get him his own. That's. I mean, it's a toy. It's it's nine dollars at Walmart. You that's that, a, that 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 that's more reasonable, right? No, you know, because there's the, there's the, there's like the thought, okay, here is the toy that I always played with, like, and here you go, like, and obviously they play with it, you know, both of them play with it now, and that's fine, but it's like, I like Star Wars, but I'm not the biggest Star Wars nerd you can find, however, I know that there's, like, a lot of collectible lightsabers and stuff, that, like, so, you know, now when I collect things, it's, like, stuff you can put up in an office, because I'm not going to go play with it, right, or, unless I'm playing with the kids, but it's, like, 
you would buy one of the ones that like lights up or that you can build yourself and reconfigure and like those are dope but i'm not going to spend five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars or however much it is on on stuff like that like that's the like the next level that you would take it to at at least at our age right you would take it to the level of like i want to get one of the light the light up ones that and maybe even the ones that you can like touch against something and it does like the noise which is pretty cool but i don't you know i don't hold on can you can you make at least more a little bit more effort to make a good lightsaber noise All right, that that'll pass. Okay, that'll, that was a little you. bit better. Thank you. That'll do. That'll do. Nah, thank it's you. funny uh, on the TikToks and the Instagram Reels, which is essentially just the same thing. I've seen where super hot cosplay girls have like a setup in their place, and it's just nothing but lightsabers, and they have like basically imagine lightsabers coming in, and at the very middle they had a Zelda shield. Obviously, they don't relate to each other at all. Just a nerdy thing. But I was like, oh, that's fucking dope. I, I actually even stopped looking at the girl because I was like, ooh, that's pretty cool. Like, I, would, I wouldn't mind having that. Ooh. That but. story is very unbelievable because I don't think you ever stopped looking at the girl. <laughs> that's probably true. I just enjoyed both things. It's like both things that I love, the women and the nerd stuff. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice. But yeah, I think that's like that's the next. So instead of if, if that was like, if that was my number one fandom, then maybe. Yeah. Right? Getting like a several hundred dollar lightsaber or whatever that lights up all right Irvin. what is your toy yeah yeah let's talk about the toy that you brought from your childhood what is your show and tell toy today yeah what toy do you want to talk about today Irvin? wait trey what what is one toy that before we get to mine what is one toy that you wish so we talked about uh Irvin, your... i don't know if you remember but from the introduction i'm the host and <sighs> We're gonna get. We're gonna get Shut to up, the Kelly toy Roland. we wish. We're gonna get to the toy Shut we up, wish. Shut up, Kelly we Roland. You can't produce me out, you piece of shit. You got. <laughs> you've got to. I'm the host. I've got host powers. You've got producer powers. <laughs> you can. You can make my voice sound slower or faster, as you wish. Nice. That was. That was all him. All of his talent, ladies and gentlemen. Um, That's the right. toy. The fucking first talent. of all, don't you fucking forget it. I have a lot. I keep. I know. I keep fading away. I have a lot of toys that made it through the Wonder Years with me. So I'll go with three. Number one that I love the most probably is my Silver Surfer that I got when I don't even know how old I was, but I have to have been like 10 maybe. It was during one of the anniversary specials. But basically there's a comic book uh, with Silver Surfer. It's part of the What If series. And so it's what if Silver Surfer got the Infinity Gauntlet. So the toy is based on that. It's the... One second here. Ding, ding, ding. This is Irvin not being prepared for the podcast uh, as per usual. Irvin is on camera just scrambling around trying to make sure he's got a visual aid for this entirely audio podcast. (laughs) As he is trying to show us something that he will eventually have to describe orally what to show you my dick uh he's having a really good time oh now he's looking frustrated that i'm calling him out for this utter fucking bullshit <laughs> back to it so like i was saying the 30th guys anniversary... we're all friends here we're all we're all friends <laughs> yeah sometimes <laughs> it's the thir- it's the 30th anniversary so i have that but it's out of the box and so recently i actually bought a 30th anniversary the deluxe edition still in the box and Wait, also a small one. 30th anniversary of Silver Surfer being introduced as a character or 30th an- anniversary of this toy? Of Marvel. It was the 30th anniversary of Marvel, I believe. So let's find out when that was. If only we had devices at our fingertips. Marvel 30th anniversary. 1992. There you have it. So 62 was when Marvel Comics was 59 years ago. Yeah, 1961. Okay, so you're saying this was the... F- the 30th anniversary, 91-92, of the founding of Marvel Comics. Correct. Publicly held in 1991. This was the anniversary Silver Surfer. I'm sorry, keep going. That's it. No, so that's that's the toy that made it with me through the Wonder Years. Um, I don't know how, but it's here. That's one of them. I also have my entire Beanie Baby collection, which I'm still waiting to become a millionaire from. I don't think <laughs> it's going to happen, guys. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm starting to lose hope. But uh, I have that's his retirement, man. (laughs) 
Fuck a 401k. I got T.Y. Beanie Babies, motherfuckers. It's going to turn out that the little beads inside the Beanie Babies are radioactive. That's, that's the fucking cure to coronavirus. <laughs> Yeah, so if you still have some, you're yeah, good. We've, we've then I'm fuck, good. You don't don't inject bleach into your asshole, like an asshole. <laughs> swallow you gotta pellets. Swallow those beanie baby beans. Yep, that's it. But you've also got to pay Irvin a lot of money for the rare ones where they've got a missing arm, because mm-hmm. for some reason those beans have more coronavirus cure. Exactly. You heard it here first, folks, <laughs> on the Nerd Nostalgia podcast. If you eat toxic, do not fucking eat these beads. <laughs> <laughs> beans your coronavirus will go away you'll have life immunity and that's all a I phoenix got. down i don't know Who knows? yeah it's yeah. a phoenix down sure guys please don't eat fucking beanie baby pellets i hate that i have to say but whatever i also have some other stuff but uh i don't want to steal brian's thunder because i know one of his is similar to something that i still have so brian what uh what's a toy that made it uh made it through the years into adulthood with you Oh no, I've only got the one. Hold on, but before we go on to me, did you did you talk about the fact that this is the Silver Surfer with the Infinity Gauntlet? I did, yeah. Mine doesn't have it. Mine specifically does not have it. The one that I bought recently that's been unopened has it. So I have two, but the one through the Wonder Year does not have it because no. it, it was a little piece of shit thing. So no Infinity Gauntlet for you. No Infinity Gauntlet for me. But yeah, you guys remember? Comes you from guys remember? What if? What the what if world? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What did he do with the Infinity Gauntlet? What he got it? Fucked everything up. But like how? Punches. <laughs> if all you do is punch shit, why do you need the Infinity Gauntlet? You've got the power of because it made Galactus. him so much stronger. Uh, comics are weird. Okay, so I'm gonna bury the lead. The toy that I wish I still had. There were fuck you. You fucking tell us the one that you have right now. You piece of shit. No, I've got to do this by no. comparison. You're not. You don't gonna tell me how I answer this question. I'm. I'm a grown man. You. You literally told me don't do that. <laughs> I hate you so much. I'm sorry, Irvin. Do you see the the majesty of host powers emanating from your piece of shit body? No, because those are fully adhered to me the host glow is upon me right now which is why i have all the powers i think it's tequila glow right now but aside silencio from that, means that's something a tequila glow. start speaking spanish mm-hmm. dates one latin girl thinks thinks he knows the espanol now <laughs> she keeps calling me what she tells me means handsome prince which is uh, she calls me pindejo which i understand means the handsomest Handsome, intelligent prince. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's correct. And she always says it as she shakes her head disappointingly. <laughs> She's so upset at how much she loves you and, you know, yeah. how handsome you are. It's just, dis- it's just, it's, I'm sure it's difficult. It's like a struggle every day to deal with. There's, and, and there's what a, a uh, ho I am, I guess. Mm-hmm. There's a, there's a, another compliment that's probably coming your way. That's going to be pinche huero. Yep. Yep. And uh, that is handsome white prince. That is handsome white prince. Correct. Yeah. Handsome white prince. <laughs> it's coming your way. I promise. So tell us the fucking toy that you wish would have made it through your wonder years. Okay. Well, I'm not going to recognize that question because it didn't come from the host. <laughs> so here's what I. <laughs> Can't you take yourself seriously. I wish. All right. Back after. Michael Keaton was Batman. They made all these really cool Batman toys of varying colors and accessories. And they lo- all look like fucking Michael Keaton, who had the best Batman face ever. And they somehow were able to get a toy maker to perfectly replicate Michael Keaton's stupid Batman face and Batman muscles in all these toys. So my br- between my brother and I, we had... 80% of them, and I can't remember the name of them. I'll have to go look that up, and maybe we can edit that in later. That's not the toy I have. I have no idea where those toys are. They may still exist in my family estate somewhere. Um, I know that I sharpied on some of them to replicate or to to pretend to be blood and alter them a little bit. They are not in pristine condition. Those aren't the toys that I have. Do you guys remember GameStop? Yes. See. 
Do you guys remember the GameStop used to originally be just you go in there and you buy video games and then it's like, oh, we should sell like belt buckles that have Legend of Zelda shit on them, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm, GameStop mm-hmm, mm-hmm. sold when we were in high school a bunch of really shitty Dragon Ball Z. They were dolls. They weren't action figures because an action figure has half I I don't know what the legal definition is. But it's got to have a certain number of articulated joints for me to consider it an action figure. If you can't bend your elbows, if you can't bend your knees, then you're really not an action figure because I want you to be able to do a high kick as an action figure. And if all you can do is, like, move your arms up and down, I'm sorry. You need elbows to do action moves. So you have Dragon Ball Z dolls. I have a Dragon Ball Z doll. Trey will remember it's a piccolo. As in mm-hmm, the green mm-hmm. Namekian piccolo that I used to hang up in piccolo. my huh piccolo piccolo that I used to hang up in my windshield when mm-hmm. I drove to high school. Um, this probably you reveals fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to the Borders bookstore and we bought we bought a whole <laughs> bunch of. Books yeah, so we could you're figure right. out how That's to make the... a magical universe. <laughs> we're like, right. we're like magic was real. Oh, it's so cool. Shut up, Irvin, you little piece of <laughs> shit. You'd probably dress up like Chun Li at the PAX convention. And my legs would look phenomenal, and you know it. I mean, obviously they would. Chun Chun Li is a great choice for you, but <laughs> anyway, continue on with your virgin fucking so story. I, I <laughs> had Piccolo. I had him for a long time. He eventually went from my high school car to, I just had him in my college dorm. And then at some point, I think he was in, like, I had an office at one point, like a grown man office. And I think he was in my office. And now that I think about it, I need to go find him. He's in my apartment somewhere. He exists in this world. And I need to get him and I need to put him back in my office. And that's the toy that's stuck with me. Again, it was not an action figure because... He ha- he could move his arms up and down, so they were, I guess, rotated at the um, shoulder, so they could, they could go in circles, and it there was like a little button on the back, so he could like move his hips a little bit, but other than that, no knee joints, no elbow joints, no... He couldn't even do cool hand motion. You had a salsa dancing doll, <laughs> piccolo doll, is what you're telling me. Just. I my toy <laughs> that I brought with me from my childhood is a Dragon Ball Z side character doll. Yes, yes. Nice. I stand by that decision. Nice. Thank you for sharing. That that makes me happy. That makes me happy. So so what was your one that you wish you still it's had? Was it all the Batman? I, I think they may still exist, but yeah. it's like I I don't know. I just want those now. Those were cool as fuck. So you know what I wish I had fucking Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon cards just so I can sell them because they're worth like thousands of dollars. The same place where fucking Beanie Babies are oh. worth a whole lot of stuff? No, no, no. no. So the, the Dragon... the I mean, sorry. The, the Pokemon cards thing is real. Yeah. Well, I haven't ever bought or sold any. Yeah. But there is... I, I mean, hell, we could just have a YouTube channel. Like, uh, what's that guy in Dallas that has one? Mm-hmm. I forgot what his name is. His... His There's... handle is Leonhard, I think. Mm-hmm. I forgot his real name. But he was an attorney. And he ended up leaving practice. And all he does is open Pokemon cards all day. That's a grown yeah. man doing and this with a law degree? The... He's a grown man with a law degree, I think, from SMU. And anyway... Uh, he opens Pokemon cards or whatever, and he's entertaining. Like I'll, I'll say that. Like I'm, I'm cool with it. Mm-hmm. But then he pulls, and so like, uh, and the cool thing about some of the cards that he pulls though is he has unopened first edition packs of America. Oh, so it's like you know in English, or yeah. I say I say America, but in English, and then he had, but then he also has like Japanese ones, and he has Chinese ones, and all kinds yeah. of stuff. And, like, he's a super, super nerd about, like, he knows, like, all of the different, you know. Yeah, oh, variants and all that yeah, kind of exactly, stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah. And, um, but, yeah, he Fucking pulled, lawyers. he pulled a first edition holographic Charizard or whatever. It's, like, worth, like, 50 grand. Have either of y'all yeah. played the Pokemon card game? 
Like actually played the game? Yeah, like played the card game, card game. No. I had the cards. Pl- have y'all ever played Yu-Gi-Oh? No. Yes. Really? I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh with my cousins, literally just two cousins. They were the only ones that had them. They were younger than me. They were much better than me. Cause <laughs> was it as was the was the card game as dramatic as the anime make it makes it seem? Not even a little bit. Like, did you ever pull out the Black Wizard or whatever that was called? Dark like Magician. The, whatever. whatever. Blue Eyes White give me, give me proximity yes. credit for having literally never seen an episode <laughs> of that show or even opened. I've never, I don't even think I've touched a Yu-Gi-Oh card. And that's not a point of pride. I just, like, that's that's been a cultural ignorance of mine for some yeah. time. At least I you can pronounce it correctly. Yu-Gi-Oh, you know. Some people will go Yu-Gi-Oh. So. Yeah, well, you, you there's Yu-Gi-Oh, going. there's Pokemon. Pokemon. Pokemans. Pokemans. Um, Digimons. You all remember Pokemons? Those? Yeah, yeah, I watched Digimon. the fuck out of Digimon, the yeah. anime. Digimon, yeah. Digital Monsters. Digimon are the champions. Dun, dun. It's not a Good copyright stuff. violation because you sang one part of it and I sang <laughs> the other, and so it's totally fine. We're not going to totally get fine. sued by Fox. Yeah, totally fine. Shut up, Fox. Don't Shut sue up. us. You're owned by Disney. Oh fuck! They're owned by Disney now. now you are getting Digimon on Disney now Plus. Huh? Is Digimon know. on Disney Plus? That's a good question. Probably. But yeah, huge market in Yu-Gi-Oh Pokemon cards, dude. And the only reason I know is because uh, one of the guys I'm in a group chat for the comic books, and all he's of like, the seasons of Digimon are on Stars. Mm. Mm. Sounds like it's probably because Digimon was. Toei and Bandai. Oh. Uh, and then just gave they, the rights they, over to... That, they, that's what a lot give, of the anime does, actually. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, well, Irvin, don't translate this episode into Japanese, and we'll be fine. Uh, okay, Fair. have you all ever played the Magic the Gathering card game? Nope. Never got into Magic. I tried playing it for the first time a year ago, <laughs> and I think it's kind of... It felt kind of the way that whenever you hand a cell phone or a tablet to someone in their, like, 80s, and they're like, how do you turn it on? And you're <laughs> like, well, just, you know, you have to use your neural inter- interface, that kind of thing. I-, I looked at the cards, and I couldn't make any sense of them, and my friend was like, okay, well, as long as you can activate all of these powers, you've got to have a right the n- right amount of mana, but you got to have have to have the right amount of element mana and i'm just sitting there i'm like go fish fuck <laughs> i like that i lacked the the neural plasticity to be able to learn a game of that complexity like it, it, it i might as well have picked up go or something like that let's guys let's learn go that's what we should do as a podcast is learn how to play go together can we turn this into the the Go Nostalgia Podcast. Boom. Done. Say less. Done. Beautiful. Say you get less. Ir- Irvin Trey, do you know what Go is? I do not know what Go is. Anytime Mm-mm. you've seen a Kung Fu movie where they're putting like little beads on a what looks like a chessboard, that's yes. Go. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, that's okay. Go. Hmm. I thought that was called something different. Yeah, I thought it was like Pai Thai or something like that. Pai Show. Like, yeah. I was really glad you didn't say Chinese checkers. <laughs> Well, I was I was thinking that too. <laughs> Although, now I think about it, I wonder if Chinese checkers is related to Go in some way. Do they Probably call not. Chinese checkers just checkers in China? The they world probably don't know. call it checkers in China. They probably call it nothing because it's probably some made up game that some dude was like, "Oh, it's like Chinese checkers." You're like, yeah, it's yeah, all Greek I like to that. me. Nice. Oh yeah, it's not Chinese checkers, but it's somewhat close. Anyway, Trey, did we? Did we? What was your uh, toy that you wish would have made it through the uh, Wonder Years with you? I don't think we got yours. <clears throat> Mine's easy, easy, easy. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mm. party wagon. Mm. Oh, you had the party wagon. I had it. Damn, I had it. dude. Mutant Damn, attack I'm man. I'm totally jealous. I'm a 32 year old man, and I'm jealous. I wish that we still had man? that. I have no idea what happened to it. I mean, it it definitely, the shit got played out of it. I mean, it was like, there was no pieces left, you know, by the end of it. And I, and that's probably why we don't have it anymore is like the roof was gone and like the visor 
with that had the cannon on it was gone and like the you know all of the little orange pieces that fit on there i think there was like rear view mirrors and like a little ramp or some shit anyway all that was gone so it was basically just the the body and the wheels that was all that was left but we played with that thing just constantly for years and years the tmnt party wagon beautiful Mm -hmm. that was the one of the coolest toys that we had and then and then so like even the original ninja turtles that would be still dope to have i remember having those Yep. I, I had those, you know, I had all of them. And then I, th- I don't even remember. I, I don't think we ever had a shredder, but no, I think only the rich kids had shredder. Yeah, yeah. Like the the turtles themselves were probably like five bucks each, but shredder was like you have like sixty bucks for a toy, and it's like God damn, I don't want that kind of yeah scratch. Yeah. Hey, okay. Speaking of things that we were too poor to have as kids. What's the toy that you always wish you had as a kid, but never got? Cause I will tell you mine was stretch fucking Armstrong. I never got one. It was never under the Christmas tree. I always wanted to stretch Armstrong. And I know that I probably would have played with it. You know what I had? You know what I had instead of stretched Armstrong it was a vac man. Do you remember vac man? Yeah, I do. And it, you, yeah, you, you vacuumed him or whatever. And then like it, all the bumps came out. Yeah, it was a discount ass Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> yeah, uh, we had a Stretch Armstrong. I had one. Fuck you, rich kid. Um, but it, you know, it 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 that did well. One, it didn't last because I think it got hard and it, like it didn't last. But it, it like we only it felt like you only play with it like for a couple of months and then it's kind of like okay, he can stretch. Sweet. I'd play with it forever. It's it's a Mister <laughs> Fantastic doll, dude. Basically, but it didn't stretch that. Like they, the thing was, is like the cart or the cartoons. They the Commercial. um, commercials made it seem like it would go across a room or whatever, and it would only it would only get about like maybe six inches to a foot longer. Yeah, and then and then you would be like tearing it. All right, so. brief, brief aside. Mister Fantastic is Reed Richards, right? Yes. So he, Reed Richards has like forty fucking PhDs. Right. Mm -hmm. Doctor Doom is a doctor, and he's also a villain. Doctor Freeze is a doctor, and he's also a villain. Why is it that heroes underplay their credentialing when they get their superhero names? Shouldn't it be Doctor Fantastic? I mean, it should be, but that's pretentious. Well, he's just called himself fucking Fantastic. How is that not pretentious? I don't think I don't think he gave himself the name. I don't think he was like, oh, I think I'm fucking Mr. Fantastic today. I think it was given to him. I shall henceforth call myself Dr. Fantastic. Wait, no, that's too pretentious. Mr. Fantastic. (laughs) What's so fantastic about you? I could stretch. (laughs) Shittiest power ever. Okay, well. I mean, he made it work. He made it work in a team. Yeah. You know? That wasn't he's a not a stand. He he's smart. not a standalone. Human yeah. Torch, standalone. Standalone. Invisible yeah. Girl, great assassin. But let's mm-hmm, but let's mm-hmm. go back Good and thing. like talk about the the, the branding strength. that the Fantastic Four had because they go around. And it's like, all right, Sue, what uh, what powers do you have? I can turn invisible. Cool, you're the Invisible Woman. What about you, Johnny Storm? I can catch fire like a torch. Human Torch, boom, easy. What about you, Reed? I can stretch really good. All right, that's pretty fantastic. That's what we'll call you. <laughs> All right, uh, no, Ben. You're... No, that, that, no, that's their that's their PR guy, and he's like taking notes or whatever. And it's like, all right, cool, Invisible Woman, Human Torch, the like thing, just... like yeah. And then and then he's like, I stretch really crazy, fantastic. Yeah, he's like, oh god. Okay, <laughs> but like, okay, but this this is this is why when you get to Ben, it's like. All right, Ben. I'm a I'm a an unbreakable rock monster who only wears cutoffs. It's like, all right, well, we're gonna call you the thing. It's like, really? He gets to be fucking the Human Torch, and I'm the thing. You couldn't like, like the like the rock monster or Rocky. Like that didn't come in. Like that wasn't in play. Too funny. I'm trying to think. It makes of, me uh, mad. It makes me mad for the thing. I'm trying to think of a toy. That. Oh, I I got one for y'all, the Megazord. Yeah, Power Rangers oh. Megazord. Yeah. Wait, the one that assembled into the Megazord. Yeah. yeah, I never had that. I think I had pieces of it, 
but I didn't have the whole thing, and I wish I did. But that okay. one was probably like hundreds of dollars. If sixty dollars was too much, then hundreds of dollars was definitely way too much. Actually, you know that kind of reminds me that the the dragon sword. Ooh, the dragon flute. The dragon flute. The, yeah, it was like the dagger. Can you, the can dragon you st- dagger. Can you still do the uh, the call for the for the? Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You got it. You yep. just called the dragon sword. Yep. Dun, 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 yep. Yeah. <laughs> why do why do why, why does my brain remember that but doesn't remember fucking physics formulas and shit? It's like nope. Just picking and choosing the wrong ones here, buddy. Just picking and uh, choosing the wrong ones. Because I was up for every single one of those Power Rangers episodes and I slept through physics. <laughs> exactly. I cheated. Which is why I became an English major. You. <laughs> It was, it was it was all scheduling, Brian. You would have you, you would have been a physics major. Yep. If they had a scheduled you n- not in physics right after lunch. I eventually became a janitor, and I worked at a university, and I would like draw <laughs> equations all over. Like I'd see the half board, done but th- they were all that. wrong. Like I never got anything right. <laughs> it was like it was like below average will hunting. There you go. <laughs> Uh, Irvin, did we get your toy that you uh, wish you'd carried? With? It was the Dragon Zord, right? Or the, the uh, Megazord? I, I threw out Megazord, but I think I said uh, the Yu Gi Oh cards and Pokemon cards before mm-hmm. that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No, I just remembered. I just remembered what toy I never got that I always wanted. It was the Proton Pack from Ghostbusters. Hell yeah, brother! The one that—that's the one, like the one that you used to wear, or like you could wear it on your back, and it yeah. came with like the jumpsuit. It said Vinkman, and like you wore it on your back, and you could pull it. I always, always, always wanted those, and I never got one. Oh really? 